Welcome back to M Hood Fishing. I'm on my way somewhere for a sunset bite, but it's about mid morning right now. I'm with my father and we're in Greenville, Texas at a place called Graham Park. It is an urban fishing thing right now. We're taking a break from the road to check out this pond. Where is it? It's, it's behind you. <laughs> and that's the pond. It's not huge. It's not super small. It's got a lot of ducks. I don't know anything about this pond, but what I do know is I don't want to spend a lot of time here. I don't want to waste my time here. So I'm going to do the easiest thing possible. Given the time of day, I don't think bass would be super active. Given the weather conditions, I don't think they would be super active either for those reasons. So what I think I can get done here is get panfish on the line. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna fish worm and a jig. I have some red wigglers that I got from the Big W store a few days ago. We're just gonna put a little piece on here. We've got us a size six Aberdeen hook. We're just gonna put this on here, thread it up. Now this is a drop shot rig. I use these rigs all the time. We're only using about a 1 16th ounce teardrop weight and we're about a foot up. We're gonna perch jerk here. And as per usual, we're gonna go with the M hood standard because this is dirty. This looks like a puddle out here, a mud puddle. We're gonna do an avocado chartreuse on a 1 16th ounce jig head. And you see I'm using one of those right there. It's a flat jig head, kind of like a spade shaped. The area that this park is located in is pretty interesting. It's kind of like a old section of Greenville, Texas. There's a lot of historic buildings. They're not all in good shape. There's some pretty cool things. I'm gonna show you one cool thing at the end of this video that is right at one of the entrances to this park. I think, I think it's pretty cool. All right, so far no bites. I'm just gonna put this out parallel to the bank out that way, let it sit. And we'll start throwing the jig here a little bit for a few minutes and then we'll move on. Moving on, moving on. This whole park seems to be a disc golf course. I hope I don't get hit in the head by a Frisbee. I've decided just to get over here to the dam and check it out. Last night, temperatures across this region dropped below freezing again. They've been doing that for the last few days. This morning, when I got up, it was like 31 out where I'm at. It probably was about that here. But it's supposed to get up to 67. I don't even have long johns on right now. It's around 50 degrees out here. It's not bad. All right, here's a good sign. All this stuff looks good as long as it's deep enough for fish to be in it right now since it was cold this morning and it's been cold they're probably not up shallow but the good sign right there is one of those can you see it let me toggle you down there's a float out there a cheap plastic float all right so this is the end of the dam this is where when this gets high it drains it comes in what feeds this is a little creek on the other end where it comes in just for fun I'm on the other side of the dam. I guess this is technically its spillway. Got all the horrible graffiti. And then this is the creek that it feeds. There's not much going on. No flow, obviously. But there are some pools. Now, I don't want to waste too much time here. But just for shoots and ladders, let's go check out this other pool that I can see. Wow. It's never a waste of time when you're filming, is it? There's another pool up here. Absolutely no fish here though. Well, there's little tiny minnows, not many. All right, let's go back to the pond. At this point, I'm just fishing the, the red wiggler and I am not happy. I haven't had one bite. This might be fished out. 
I don't know if anybody really manages this. This is a, I think managed by the city. Hello? Maybe I should have had my lucky kitty with me the whole time, but whatever. Let me show you the last thing. I'm gonna give you my final opinion on this park. It's called the Dairy Dart. Look at this old place here. Looks like someone tried to reopen it. It's definitely an old fast food place. It might be a Dairy Queen. It may have been just a Dairy Dart. But let's go check this out. This is pretty, pretty cool. Wow, this building's been here a long time. Some of that stuff is newer though in there. It's definitely a, a closed down business. There we go, the Dairy Dart. Yeah, you're right. There were better days for that pond and the Dairy Dart, but they're not today. Maybe it'll all come back again. But that water was really, really dirty and there's just no flow into it. So why is it dirty? Duck poo and goose poo, maybe carp. Maybe that's a carpy pond. All right, I'm going to a really cool place that is actually a lot better than where I just wasted my time. So catch up with me there. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time.